Oh, this place is the best. It's got beer, games, prizes, and you can never tell what time it is. Some say that Dave & Buster's is the grown-ups version of Chuck E. Cheese. That is, you come to DMB to play video games and pig out on pizza, burgers, hot dogs, or other fast foods. But Dave & Buster's offers so much more. An unlimited variety of drinks, for adults of course, sports casts, video games, and sometimes a pool table, blackjack tables, or a bowling alley, depending on which location you're at. So here are the top 10 untold truths about Dave & Buster's. Who's thriving? Dave & Buster's. Dave & Buster's is thriving. Dave & Buster's adds the Impossible Burger. That's impossible! Dave & Buster's not only update their games to keep up with the times, but they also update their menu selections. Now that more and more restaurants are offering vegetarian and vegan options to their customers, D&B did not want to be left behind. So they recently added the Impossible Burger to their lineup. This plant-based burger can replace the beef patty in any of the burger items on the menu and be topped the way you like. While adding cheese may eliminate it from the vegan category, it does help fill the void for a meat-free option. According to Dave & Buster's, this burger is all flavor, all protein, and zero cholesterol. So it definitely beats out your typical meat burger if your doctor has you watching your cholesterol. As for the flavor, we'll let you be the judge. And why the Impossible Burger name? Well, it could be that it's impossible to tell the difference between this and a regular burger or maybe it's because it tastes so impossibly good that you just can't pass one up. I can't pass that up. You know what else you shouldn't pass up? Clicking that subscribe button and tapping that bell to join our notification squad. Won't you join us? Dave & Buster's has more games than any arcade out there. <gasps> GTS! So many games. Tired of the cramped, dilapidated, and outdated games at your favorite video arcade? It's time to hop over to a Dave & Buster's near you to raise the bar. Every Dave & Buster's has over $1 million worth of games. These games range from interactive to the simulator type, which means that old Pac-Man consoles are out, but we like games, car races, and flight simulators are definitely in. Dave & Buster's also has a ginormous cache of exclusive games. Just some of these are Rock'em Sock'em Robots and Jurassic Park Virtual Reality. If by any chance you have any arcade game ideas to suggest, just let your server know. They would be glad to write down your suggestion for Dave & Buster's management to consider. Okay. You can have it all for just $17.99 at Dave & Buster's. Wow, what a great deal. <laughs> Welcome to Dave & Buster's Eat & Play Combo. It's the perfect date package if your SO is the playful type. With Eat & Play, you can easily do the math to make sure that you don't spend more than $17.99 on your date when you're on a tight budget. Student loans and all. The combo price already includes your meal, in addition to the $10 power card for playing the games. Planning to propose, get married, or celebrate any other special occasion like your birthday? Consider Dave & Buster's, which can lay out a buffet for a events and celebrations. In addition to the fact that the restaurant chain is constantly upgrading its menu, Dave & Buster's is also excellent for company parties and other similar events. Just remember, no confetti, glitters, and other messy decorations are allowed. Candles are also not allowed, with the exception of birthday candles, of course. Thanks for coming to my birthday party, Jake Ryan. Thanks for having me to your birthday party, Peter. Dave & Buster's is the corporate sponsor of UFC. Hey, Steve. What time you watch the UFC fight, bro? Don't forget, Dave & Buster's is a sports bar too, so feel free to be as sporty as you want to be. No one will stop you. Some branches even have pool tables, bowling alleys, and blackjack tables. This was the spirit of the first two Dave & Buster's to open. Want to play a classy game of pool? Try Dave & Buster's pool tables that are custom made and cost the company $15,000 each back in 1982. The restaurant chain hasn't thought of running a casino operation yet, but for sure, Dave & Buster's handily beats Las Vegas's Caesars Palace when it comes to market capitalization. I am the champion! I beat all you pansies! A Dave & Buster's dress code to tune out the gang mentality. Hey, Meredith, can I talk to you privately for a second? About what? Your outfit. To avoid unpleasant surprises, I'm telling you now. When in Dave & Buster's, be sure to wear clothes and shoes. That is, no flip-flops. That's the general rule in these parts. So you're probably asking, what about distressed jeans? The answer is that it's better to err on the side of caution. Dave & Buster's management reserves the right to send you home if you show way too much skin. You might as well avoid wearing jeans riddled with holes, no matter how sexy they look on your person. To avoid the trouble of being separated from your peers, dress sensibly. My informant says that soiled or dirty clothes may be a big no-no for some Dave & Buster's establishments. So if you work in the construction industry and you plan to head to Dave & Buster's, 
blockbusters straight from work? Think again. You can be turned back at the gates. Gang-related insignia and discriminatory advertising on your person or clothing are likewise not allowed. And the biggest no-no of all? Sunglasses. I wear my sunglasses at night. You can't wear these inside and expect to earn the hosts and servers good graces. Knowing this, you'll realize why you're being frowned upon if you insist on going against the grain. Feel free to explain that you're trying to hide your lizard eyes, but Dave & Buster's reserves the right to turn you down when it comes to this matter. I'm stand! Some Dave & Buster's have an 11 p.m. curfew. Janice, I cannot stop this car. I have a curfew. Just saying, I don't want you to get to the nearest Dave & Buster's only to get disappointed. So here's the scoop. Please bear in mind that on Fridays and Saturdays, some Dave & Buster's have an 11 p.m. curfew. Even for those Dave & Buster's that don't have such a restriction in place, you may still be required to be accompanied by someone who's at least 25 years old to get inside the premises. It's nothing personal, just the restaurant's way of helping you grow responsibly after you're 20. So for the time being, don't forget to bring a valid photo ID when you're planning to spend the night at Dave & Buster's. Do check your wallet again just to make sure you don't become a hindrance to the rest of the friends in the car. Oh lord, here we go again. Dave & Buster's, an idea 10 years in the making with a 34-year homecoming. That's a long time. It is a long time. Dave & Buster's was founded in 1982 in Dallas, Texas by David O. Corvo and James Buster Corley, entrepreneurs extraordinaire who that fateful year stopped looking out their respective office windows. It finally dawned on the two that joining forces would be one giant leap for mankind. You see, Dave owned Cash McCool's, a burgeoning game parlor in Little Rock, Arkansas. On the other hand, Buster owned, as you might have guessed, Buster's, a slick bar and restaurant. Now, the staring out the window scenario would go on for an odd 10-year period before the two finally realized that their adjacent establishments had something in common. After all, guests seemed to float by between the two locations on most nights. Had Dave and Buster's hired a private detective, the sleuth would have discovered the naked truth at a much faster rate than the dynamic duo. An idea in cowboy country was brewing, and it was only a matter of time before the concept would achieve full fruition. Thus was how the idea of a play complex, bar, and full-service restaurant all rolled into one was born. And when you come to think of it, how time flies! After the first one opened in 1982 in Dallas, Texas, it wasn't until 2016 when they opened the first Dave & Buster's in Little Rock where the idea first originated. 34 years in the making, but it didn't feel that way now, or did it? Oh, and about the name? Dave & Buster had to perform a proverbial coin toss to ensure that the order of their names was respected. You earn my respect. An arcade for grown-ups, and half-price Wednesdays at Dave & Buster's. You work at an adult arcade. You can have any man you want. If you're in Canada, where many Dave & Busters also thrive, Half Price Wednesdays is definitely something you can add to your personal thrift files. This goes hand in hand with KFC's Toonie Tuesday. Congrats, you now have two days to save some serious bucks while you splurge on the rest of the weekdays. Sounds like a plan. After Applebee's Two Can Dine for $20 offer, Dave & Busters Half Price Wednesdays are the next best thing to restaurant discount heaven. To make this work for you, just be sure to put a big X mark on your calendar for every week that it happens. That way, you can save enough money if you and your friends still plan to head out to Las Vegas in the near future. Hit two birds with one stone by ordering lots of loaded tots. For the Undave & Busters initiated, this meal consists mostly of potato tots. Doesn't ring a bell? Think tater tots from the H.J. Heinz Company. They are deep-fried, grated potatoes with a cylindrical shape and with that crispy on the outside look. But Dave & Busters takes the french fries or 7-Eleven wedges alternative to the next level by adding spicy cheese, crispy bacon, green onions, and last but not least, a generous dash of sriracha ketchup. Definitely one serious break away from the Chuck E. Cheese mold. If you love potato tots the Dave & Buster's way, you're all set for Wednesdays. Give me some of your tots. No, go find your own. At 117 outlets thus far, Dave & Buster's is the bromance capital of North America. I got two words for you. Bro-mance. Tired of going to a paintball complex or there simply isn't one in your area? Try Dave & Buster's instead. You can't be paintballing around there for sure, but with the sheer complexity of the Dave & Buster's gaming environment, you can still find something that suits you and your friend. Just don't forget, sporting a play gun on your visit isn't only in bad taste, it's outright dangerous. 
And why think about all these social taboos when you can join forces with robots in a game at Dave & Buster's, or a pack of dinosaurs in a stampede for that matter? If running up and down the stairs is too much for your age, you can try more traditional arcade games at the restaurant. But if your youth and stamina are ready for some mountain climbing or ice dancing, your Dave & Buster's Power Card can help you with that. For all the Justin Bieber or Selena Gomez fans out there, you just never know when one or the other will show up at a Dave & Buster's bar near you in the land of the Big Apple. After all, the former on-again, off-again couple did have a D&B date there back in 2012. Of course, now that the Biebs is engaged to Haley Baldwin and maybe married, and Jelena is busted, just don't expect them both. Believers and Selenators are now mutually exclusive fan clubs, and Dave & Buster's is yet to think about a virtual reality game that the two camps can fight about just for old times' sake. But then again, there are many other celebrities who might end up partying at a Dave & Buster's near you. You just never never know when Taylor Swift or Pink will drop by, so you just have to keep coming. Thank you. Come again. Hey, Dave & Buster's charging stations aren't for charging your smartphone. And you know, some of it goes to power my engine and charge my phone and stuff. On the contrary, these so-called stations are meant for recharging your Dave & Buster's power card before you swagger through or otherwise catwalk your way through the so-called Million Dollar Midway. A long time ago, coins or tokens used to be the means to pay for games that you want to play. Not anymore. These days, you can recharge your power card and update your scores just by walking around. Dave & Buster's uses radio frequency to keep track of your game record as well as for topping up. It makes perfect sense. After all, coin payment systems systems are so hard to maintain, let alone operate. You must have an idea of how often the modern vending machine goes down. And did I mention that it's rather tacky, too, when you find yourself in a high-end gaming establishment like Dave & Buster's? Nowadays, Dave & Buster's uses an app called Tunity to not only top up your gaming account, it also works like a Bluetooth device that enables you to listen in to your favorite sport from one of the gigantic TVs that are all over the place. So you wonder how people can manage to hear each other despite a traditionally noisy environment? Opportunity is it. With all these high-tech conveniences at Dave & Buster's, the video arcade, sports bar, and restaurant all rolled into one handily competes with other restaurants and even the Las Vegas establishment. For best results, download Tunity and My Vegas for a test drive. Hello! We've got loads more entertainment for you. No tokens or play passes required. Just hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. And stay right here and click on one of our other great videos.